Okay, in this video, I'm going to show you another method of factorizing harder quadratics. So factorizing a quadratic with a number, a coefficient, in front of the x squared. So this one here has got a 3 in front of the x squared. So that makes it hard to factorize. But hopefully this method makes it a lot easier. So I can see I've got a 3 in front of the x squared. That's the thing that's going to make it hard to factorize. So in this method, what you've got to do is write 3x, so whatever the coefficient of x squared is, in this case 3, you write that in front of the x in both brackets and write it over 3. So when I expand this, imagine expanding is the opposite of factorizing, I'm going to get 9x squared, but I'm going to divide it by 3, so it goes back to 3x squared. First number, the last number, and multiply them together. So 3 times 10, 30. So I'm going to look for the two numbers that multiply to make 30, but add to make this 17. So to do that, I'm going to write down the factors of 30, which is 1 and 30, 1 times 30, 2 times 15, 3 times 10. It's not in the 4 times table. It is in the 5 times table, 5 times 6. So which of these can I use to add to make a 17? So 1 and 30 can't make a 17. Um, 3 and 10 can't make a 17, 5 and 6 can't make a 17, so it's 2 and 5. How do I make a positive, a plus 17? It's going to have to be plus 2 and plus 15. Now, that's factorised, but I just want to get rid of this over 3 bit. So I'm looking for which one of these brackets can I divide to get rid of the 3. So the first bracket, they're not in the 3 times table, I'm going to leave it as it is. So 3x plus 2. The second bracket, they are in the 3 times table. So 3x divided by 3 is just x, and 15 divided by 3, that's just 5. So that's factorised. If you want to check it, you could expand it back out, so times, 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 and you should get back to the question. So the, the opposite of factorising is expanding, so you can check your answer by doing that. So this is correct for this one. And then we're going to do another example of the same thing. So you can see the coefficient of x squared this time is a 5. So I'm going to go straight to 5x in both brackets. And I'm going to write it over 5. Now I need to do the first times the last. So 3, negative 3 times 5. It's negative 15. I'm just going to put 15. Um, the negative only matters if there's two things that times to make um 15 that also add to make the 2. In this case 15 is only 1 times 15 or 3 times 5. I can't use 1 and 15 to make a 2 so the negative doesn't really matter um, and we need to make a plus 2 so we're going to make a plus 2 by doing 5 take away 3 so plus 5 and a minus 3 they multiply to give you the minus 15. Um, now that's factorised, we just need to simplify it. So we're going to look to divide this bracket by 5 because they're both in the 5 times table. So 5x divided by 5 is x, 5 divided by 5 is 1. The second bracket stays the same. And that's the final answer. Again, you could expand to check your answer. Okay, so here we've got another question. So the first step, we're going to look at what is the coefficient of x squared. What number is before x squared? Here we've got a 6. So we're going to write 6x in each bracket. And we're going to put it all over 6. Now I'm going to take the first and the last uh, numbers, and I'm going to times them together. So I've got 6 times a negative 10, which is negative 60. Then the factors are 60, so I've got 160, 2 30s, 3 20s, 4 15s, 5 12s, or 6 10s. It's not in the 7 times table, it's not in the 8 times table, and it's not in the 9 times table. So there are all my options. Now I need to make a 11 out of these, so I can't use 160. I can't use 2 and 30, I can't use 3 and 20, 
I can use 4 and 15, I can't use 5 and 12, and I can't use 6 and 10. So I can only make an 11 with 4 and 15, and to make an 11 I need to do a positive 15, take away 4. 15 take away 4 is 11. And now I want to simplify it by cancelling, but neither of these two brackets are in the 6 times table. So 6 and 15 aren't both in the 6 times table, and 6 and 4 aren't both in the 6 times table. But I can see what I can take out of them. So 6 and 15 are both in the 3 times table, and 6 and 4 are both in the 2 times table. So instead of 6, I'm going to think of it as having 3 times 2, and I'm going to cancel the first bracket by 3, and cancel the second bracket by 2. So divide the first bracket by 3, and divide the second bracket by 2. So 6 divided by 3, 6x divided by 3 is 2x, 15 divided by 3 is 5. And then 6x divided by 2, that's 3x, and 4 divided by 2 is 2. So this is um, our final answer, that's the factorised version. So we can check our answer if we want by expanding it, and if we expand it we should get back to 6x squared plus 11x minus 10. Okay, so here's three for you to have a go at. So pause the video and give them a go. Okay, so the first one, we can see the coefficient of x squared, the number in front of x squared is 2. So we're going to write 2x in each of the brackets, and we're going to put it over 2. Then we're going to do the first time the last, so 2 fives, that's 10, 2 times 5 is 10. Factors of 10, 1 times 10, or 2 times 5. Which of these can give me an 11? I can't use 2 and 5, that can't make 11, so I need to use 1 and 10. So we'll put plus 1, plus 10, that gives me 11. Then I need to simplify by cancelling, dividing by 2. I can't divide the first bracket by 2. I need to divide 1 of the bracket, so I'm going to leave the first bracket. And I'm going to divide the second bracket by 2. So 2x divided by 2 is just x, and 10 divided by 2 is 5. Okay, second one. So we've got 3x squared, so we're going to put 3x in each bracket. And we're going to write it over 3. And then 3 8, so the first times the last, 3 times 8, that's 24. The factors are 24, so 1, 24, 2 12s, 3 8s, 4 6s, and nothing else. How can I make a 14 out of these? Can't use 1 and 24, can't use 3 and 8, can't use 4 and 6, so it's 2 and 12. I need to make a negative 14, so it's negative 2 take away 12. I need to divide one of the brackets by 3 to cancel to cancel this 3. Can't divide the first bracket, so I leave it the same. Second bracket, 3x over 3 is x, 12 over 3, 4. And finally, we've got 12x squared, so we're going to write 12x in each bracket, and over 12. First times the last, so 12 fives, negative 5, so 12 times negative 5 is negative 60. Factors of 60, so we've got 160, 2 30s, 3 20s, 4 15s, 5 12s, 6 10s. We need to make negative 17, so I can't use 1 and 60, can't use 2 and 30. I could use 3 and 20, I can't use 4 and 15, I could use 5 and 12, and I can't use 6 and 10. So, I need to decide which one of these two to use, so it all depends on the signs. So, to make a negative 17, a minus 17, I would need to do plus 3 take away 20, or minus 5, negative 5, take away 12. So now we look at which of these would multiply to give a negative 60. So a positive times a negative gives me a negative, that's what I want. A negative times a negative will give me a positive, 
So if I multiply these two together, I get a positive 60. That's not what I want. So I'm going to use plus 3 and minus 20. So I need to cancel this now. These are both in the three times table. So I'm not going to cancel by 12. I'm going to cancel this one by 3. And this one should be in the four times table. And it is. So 12x divided by 3 is 4x. 3 divided by 3 is 1. 12x divided by 4 is 3x. And 20 divided by 4 is 5. And that's the final answer. Again, you can check by um, expanding and you should get back to this.